If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? Well, good morning. It's another early, chilly Florida morning down here where I'm at. I can't imagine how cold it must be in some of the places many of you are located. I've heard a lot of you telling me how funny it is to hear me talking about how cold I am down here. I don't do well with cold. <laughs> I used to love the idea of retiring somewhere like Montana until I thought about how cold it gets there. <laughs> so forget it. So Florida's for me, baby. But it's good to have you guys back another day. Just wanted to come give you some more motivation to keep on moving. And today, I'm putting the coffee down again. I have not had coffee today, which is the uh, first time I haven't had coffee in a couple of months now. And it has a lot to do with the fact that if you watch recent videos, you'll know that I've been talking about it, but I'm not sure if it's something I want to continue. It's just really hard to cut back on the coffee once you get used to that, that warm friend in the morning. <laughs> It's, uh, it can be addictive. Uh, but something I have tried that I don't know if anybody else is doing this. I assume that, that, it, that they are because I heard Jordan Peterson mention a hint at it one time when I went back, to, went back and watched some older videos of his. Uh, hot water, especially on a cold morning, really seems to help me a lot. At least this morning. I was surprised because... At first I thought, I'm not going to enjoy this nearly as much as coffee, and especially since I was out of butter, I didn't have any butter coffee either. And it did the trick, mentally. Uh, the gut issues that I was having that led me to start doing this diet have been completely gone for a long time. I mean, I've had a few rumblings with some intestinal issues from time to time, but I mean, nothing, nothing like what I've been having before. Well, this morning when I woke up, I felt a, a pain that I haven't felt in about a year. It wasn't terrible, but it was familiar. And because it was familiar, it was terrifying. And I said, you know what? If coffee's the only thing I'm having that's not on my diet, I'm cutting that out too. Because I do not want to go back through this. No matter how much I love that warm friend in the morning, give me a hot cup of water any day, opposed to giving me something that's gonna give me gut issues. And that's ultimately what it comes down to, is you find out what's gonna work for you. You know, maybe coffee took a long time to have an effect on me because it's, you know, maybe it's the minuscule amount that I was getting compared to eating you know, vegetable seed oils or something like that where, oh, and vegetable seed oils, oh my gosh. I noticed my wife still likes to buy mixed nuts and things like that. And I was watching something another doctor was telling me about. And uh, he brought up uh, roasting your own nuts at home because if they roast them, they're roasting them in the worst stuff. And I picked up my wife's box of mixed nuts and started reading the ingredients label. And this was something that I considered to be healthy at one time. Um, when I was eating regular, I would love to eat some mixed nuts, especially cashews are my favorite. But uh, man, when I started reading this thing, cotton seed oil, palm seed oil, that's the worst stuff out there, right there. And they're using multiple different kinds of seed oils for each nut that they're cooking. So you're getting like every possible seed oil there is when you buy roasted mixed nuts. I was so disappointed for her because I know she, she when I told her that, she was like, no, no. But, uh, well, it is what it is. We gotta find the truth. We gotta find out the truth about what we're eating if we're gonna have any clue why our bodies are doing what they're doing. Well, I gotta finish this walk because I'm heading down to, or up to Georgia again. I gotta go see my dentist one more time. Finally get my last crown replaced again. I had, if, if any of you have been watching for a long time, you know I had two crowns replaced back last summer. 
and I've had to have both of those replaced since then. Well, this should be the final visit that I got to go back and get this taken care of. But uh, I'll be back to see you guys again soon. Until then, screw it. Get up and do it. Start that diet that you've been waiting to start. Start that exercise you've been waiting to start. Stop eating that garbage you've been telling yourself you know you need to stop eating. Get up and do it. I'll see you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?